So we are in chapter three, which is a equilibrium for particles, and this is the first example. So here we have two masses, one of 40 kilograms and the other we don't know. And they are asking us to find the tension in all the cables. So we want to find the tension in this cable, we want to find the ten tension in this cable, and we want to find the tension in this cable. The first we notice is that since we have this mass, we can get this weight. Remember that weight is equals to mass times gravity. And the gravity is 9.81. So that will give us newtons. The other thing that we notice is that this is a pulley. And it's an ideal pulley. So that pulley does not have any mass, and the size is negligible, and is a frictionless. Therefore, the two tensions, so if I have this pulley over here, the tension of this rope will be exactly the same as the tension of this rope. Well, of course, we have here something that holds that pulley. I'm going to put two reactions right there. But what I'm caring about is that this tension over here, which is equals to the weight that I'm carrying, is equals to that tension. And I'm going to call this tension EB. So the first thing we notice is that the tension EB is equals to the weight that we have here of that mass C. So in order to find, so we already have this tension, in order to find these two other tension, we have to do the free body diagram. So let's draw the free body diagram of this point or joint E. So it's very important that we notice that we have an two reactive forces, and this is a weight. So I can draw them. Let me draw them here. So I have the tension, T, E, V, that we already know. And we have this angle. This angle over here is 30 degrees. So this angle over here is 30 degrees. Then we have the tension, T, E, V, and finally, we have this tension over here, tension EA. And what are we going to do? Once we have the free body diagram, which is always the first step, we will uh, apply our equations of equilibrium. The equations of equilibrium are adding forces in the x direction. And it's very important to describe which one is our x direction going to draw here. My x direction is this one here, and my y direction is this one right here. So I'm going to draw, uh, write my equations for the forces in x direction, and this is equals to zero because I am in equilibrium, and I will do the equations in the y direction, and this is also zero because it's in equilibrium. So what do we have in x direction? So in x direction, we have this force over here, which is negative T E D. And then we have the component in x direction of this force. That will be plus T E D cosine of 30. And that's equals to 0. Let me draw this a little bit because I'm going to extend this one right here. So this is an unknown, and this one, we already said that is equals to the weight. So let me write it this way. T E D plus the weight, which is we said is 40 times 9.81. And we know that the cosine of 30 is square root of 3 over 2. That allowed us to find already T E D. And then I have T y equals to 0, and that gives me the next equation. The next equation, so we have here in y, and in y direction, we have this component times sine of theta, right? Because we have this force, and we want the y component, which is the opposite to that triangle, right? So it will be negative t 
D E A plus positive right D E B sine of 30 degrees equals to zero. So that will be equals to negative D E A plus the same we have the, that this is equals to the weight and the sine of the is one half. So very easy, we from here we solve for TED and from here we solve for DEA. And the results are that TED is equal to 340 newtons And the D E A, which is this one right here, half is 196 newtons. So we were able to find this tension, this tension, and this tension, which is equal to this weight. And this is the solution of this problem.